Hello and welcome back to Coins and More UK. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week and in today's video I know it's something you've all been waiting for and after one whole year of doing its rounds all across the country it is finally time for this. I'm going to put all of you out of your misery and we're going to find the coup. So let's crack on with the video and I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, so before I crack on with the video, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that took part in Find The Coup. I had so much fun watching all of your videos and some of you were so inventive um, in ways of locating where the coup was. I laughed, I cried, it was, it was just brilliant and I had so much fun watching everyone have a go at this game. So a big thank you, you've all been fantastic sports and uh, the teasing has gone on long enough so um, I'm going to crack open this envelope and I'm going to tell you exactly where the queue was. Okay, so here it is, the envelope. Um, let's just quickly get this out and let's have a quick look. Um, that two Cornish rays was the last person to have this on the 19th. And he did send back a signed Benjamin Bunny. That's really cool. So uh, thank you very much for this. Um, it will be going up on my shelves along with my other signed coins. So I'll just put that to one side for a moment. And we'll just take time to quickly appreciate everyone else that took part in the game. So we had Bungle, we had Clapham Coins, Purple Fairy, Coin Patrol, Macamula, Christopher Clex, Caledonian Coins, Katie Jones Coins, Master Temple, and then uh, two coin of phrase, uh, lastly, again. And uh, they are the 10 people that took part in the game. So again, any of these folks, they've all got YouTube. If you want to go and subscribe to the channels, uh, please feel free to do so, and I'm sure they would appreciate all the support. And the fact that it lasted the whole year was just phenomenal. It was really cool. So, um, was it anywhere on this bit of paper? The rule sheet? No. It wasn't there whatsoever. As you can see, I've scrunched this up like that. There's no coup there. Okay, so moving on to the envelope. Nope, it certainly, definitely, cast iron was definitely not in the envelope. Absolutely flat, and I can assure you that there was definitely no cue in that. So let's put you over there with that bit of rubbish. Now next, this. Now I'm not sure if anyone took the time to demolish this or take it apart. But as you can see, there's nothing whatsoever in there. And what I will also do is... Um, Get the scissors. Let's, let's take this off, shall we? Is there anything in there? No, there's definitely no coup in there either. Uh, what about this back one, you might be asking. Let's get the scissors in there without stabbing myself. No, there was definitely no coup in there either. The wallet was totally empty. Well, it was. Uh, it wasn't empty. There was uh, 10 envelopes in this to start off with. But no, there's nothing hidden underneath there whatsoever. And with that one either. So I'm going to put you there as well. Okay, so with all of this looked through, um, some other clues that I gave was um, could the coin... Um, being an envelope I did say um, there was two coins in one envelope maybe and yeah that was a bit of a a tuna fish as well it was a bit of a red herring um, again I just really had fun teasing people and um, yeah milking the game a little bit so uh, yeah unfortunately there was no envelope with two coins um, so that uh, I think I'm running out of options here and you might all be coming to a uh, a conclusion some of you might be putting your hands up in the air saying yes told you so I was right all along um, but without further ado this is where the coup was <laughs> Oh, 
he has been sneaky. He has been sneaky. Oh, I love it. <laughs> we got a fake you gardens. Amazing. <laughs> well, I'm world shaft. It did. Maybe it did feel like a queue then. Maybe it did feel like a queue then. <gasps> How clever is that? Oh, Matt, you are a champion. Well, I got a fake you gardens. I don't mind. <laughs> How cool is this? Let's get it out of the, the diggly D. And look how, oh, look how rubbish it is. I love it. It's so bad, I love it. <laughs> oh, can you believe it? Can you even believe it? Matt, you're a monster. And of course, it had to be. Christopher Collects found the coup and in the first bloody envelope. Now, I, I can't believe it when I watched that. I thought, yes, I've got a good game here. It's going to do really well. Blah blah blah, and Christopher Clex found it in the first envelope. I couldn't believe it, but I'm a victim of my own doing. Now there was some silly rules in there, like uh, no fumbling and, and things like that. So uh, that didn't help the cause whatsoever, especially with a big thick um, coup token in there. Uh, yeah, Christopher clocked that one straight away, and he found it in the first envelope. And I did think to myself, whoops, um, it, you know that's a bit of a, a downer, but no. Um, I didn't reveal where the coup was um, right at the beginning, or I didn't announce if that was the actual coup um, to be found. Now, I did obviously um, have nine other envelopes to be circulated, so I d yeah, I did do a bit of teasing. I liked to jog with people about, nah, that wasn't the coup. But I just wanted to keep the game going, I wanted everyone to have a chance, and I just really wanted um, wh whoever channels that I went to. You know, to really have some fun with it and I hoped um, everyone would engage with the video as well as they did with Christopher's. I kind of thought if it revealed that he did, you know, find the coup that, you know, no one, no one would watch the other chap's videos. So until um, the last envelope was opened, I just kind of had to, you know, tease everyone really. And I do apologise in advance because just lately I have had, I've had a couple of people that took it way too seriously. And uh, it nearly did spoil things, but it's just me i do like um having fun that's what this game was all about and um, i've had some really good feedback from people that have took part in this game who have said it is one of the best performing videos that, that they've ever uploaded so um in that sense i'm really happy that i've managed to support these channels some of which are really small and it's just it's, it's all about sharing the love and i've really enjoyed this game so much and i do um thank everyone again for you know taking part and creating some really really good videos especially like purple fairies and uh, coin patrols uh, though some of them were just so funny to watch and it was all worth it in the end um, I know for a fact um, certainly Christopher collects and um, Katie laughter um, a few of them folks they're gonna absolutely monitor me to death on uh, the discord voice chat and again I just kept teasing and yeah, just going along with my own little dream world of this game. So I'm, I know I'm going to get mullered and uh, yeah, everyone's going to be shouting at me. But uh, it is what it is and I've, I created this game really just to have fun and to help everyone out and just to share the love. So again, thank you so much for everyone that's played. I have, I've had so much fun with this and I've already made another game which will be going out very soon. So again, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry to everyone that I've teased and um, yeah, I'm going to get mullered. But never mind, it's been a really good game. I've had so much fun with this and I hope everyone has as well. But of course, it had to be. Christopher had it uh, in the first package. I can't believe it. I'll never get over that, but it had to be. You know, King Christopher collects. Um, try getting one over on him will never happen. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you did like this video, please leave me a like. Or if you didn't like this video, yeah, whack me a thumbs down. And of course, if you want to leave me a comment in the box below, that would be fantastic as well. If you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be brilliant. And of course, press that notification bell and you'll always be up uploaded. You'll always be notified when I upload new videos like this. Um, lastly, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic weekend or week. And always remember, there's always two sides to every coin if you take the time to look and bye for now